Hello, in this video we're going to look at determining returns to scale when presented with a table type problem. So here we have a firm that uses labor and capital inputs to produce output. In this first row, the firm uses 10 units of labor and 20 units of capital to produce 400 units of output, and then so on. We want to figure out what type of returns to scale does the firm experience between 400 and 500 units of output. So when we go to 4 to 500 units of output, we'll notice labor went from 10 to 12 and capital went from 20 to 24. I'm going to show that labor and capital each increased 20% and output increased 25%. So in that case, we have increasing returns to scale. Output increased by more than the proportional increase in labor and capital. So the Percentage increase in labor is a 20% increase. Okay, as we go from 10 to 12, that is a 20% increase in labor. Likewise, we have a 20% increase in capital. And in terms of output, going from 400 to 500 units of output, that is a 25% increase in output. So this is consistent with increasing returns to scale. The next thing we want to look at in this table is what type of returns to scale does a firm experience between 500 and 750 units of output. So I'm going to show that labor and capital in this case each increase 50% and output also increase 50%. So this would be constant returns to scale. So in terms of labor going from 12 to 18 that would be a 50% increase and going from 24 to 36, that would represent another 50% increase. And in terms of output, going from 500 to 750 units of output, that is a 50% increase. So we have constant returns to scale. And in our last example, we're going to look at what happens when this firm goes from 750 units of output to 1,400 units of output. I'll show that labor and capital, in this case, each increased 100%. We doubled our labor and capital input, so 100% increase in labor and capital. But output didn't double, went up less than two times. So just confirming that, we're going to have 100% increase in labor, 100% increase in capital, and the percentage increase in output is about 87%. So that would be consistent with decreasing returns to scale. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.